this comment. $117,000 a year is $10,000 a month. It's not that I live a lavish lifestyle. It's that I live an adult life. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. There's, you cannot survive on $10,000 a month. I can't. I can't. So, life is about change. And that's what I'm gonna do. Figures. Just as I'm about to record a video, my my trash people show up, and in order for them to dump the trash, they gotta back down the road. It's a private driveway, but there's no turnaround, so they're backing up for a little while. This could quite possibly be the slowest and least efficient trash collection service I've ever seen. So like I said, life is about change. And I'm making changes myself. And it's kind of funny because I've been saying this a lot lately. Like in the last two weeks, I've been saying life is about change more and more and more because it just is and it's been really clear and apparent to me that that's the case every single day and it begins with our house we've been in the process of preparing our house to go on the market to list it for sale and we are planning on moving to the beach that's the change our life has changed our life has changed a lot in the last two years two and a half years from the house we moved out of to the house we're in now. We went from a neighborhood, HOA, uh, neighbors on either side, to no neighborhood, no HOA, a few acres to ourselves, seclusion, privacy, to maybe being a little bit closer quarters, more neighbors, so to speak, on a beach, access to a beach, sunshine, um, sand but put between our toes, being outdoors, like just enjoying outside more than going to the mall, going to Starbucks. Yeah, so it's just about change. We've seen drastic change throughout the country throughout the world over the last few years and that's what life is it's about change and i know there's some people out there that prefer life to stay the same and never change but that isn't necessarily really true more so it's that they don't change life's going to change around you life's going to evolve and i mean you've seen it we're no longer cavemen uh chiseling on walls and striking rocks together to make fire you know we've we've progressed as a, a human race and it's going to continuously progress and evolve and change it's up to you if you want to change with it part of that change is real estate so real estate has taken a drastic drastic climb in home values price increases, appreciation, 
bidding wars, all cash offers. It has changed the game of real estate. Life is about change. Builders, developers, investors, they have changed. They are changing the way that they go to market. They're changing their business models because they realize that real estate isn't about selling homes. The wealth in real estate moving forward is about building homes, holding assets, maintaining the properties and putting tenants in their place and collecting rents from them every single month. With the ability to increase rents with a moment's notice, uh, with the ability to increase rents um, across the board annually with, you sign a lease, I don't know about you, but um, I've signed business leases before. I've actually signed one for three years for a space for my business to rent, to operate out of. And they guaranteed in the lease that the rate, the monthly payment was gonna go up 5% annually, guaranteed. And then we were actually coming up on the end of the lease term, February of 2023. And I called them and asked them, say, hey, our lease is only three years what happens if we want to renew they said oh it's going to go up 50 percent why let me clear this up i didn't ask why i asked what happens they told me it was going to go up 50 percent and then they proceeded to tell me why i never asked why they said kevin your your space your 5,000 square foot warehouse space is going to go up 50 percent because we can Plain and simple. The market has adjusted. Uh, you have a great rate where you are right now for the rest of your lease that goes on until February of next year. And you know, technically we're losing money until that time. But when that time comes, if you want it, you're more than welcome to stay. You're more than welcome to leave. But at that time next year, we're gonna raise it by 50% at least. And we may raise it more depending on how the market adjusts by then. And it's a prime spot. It's a great little spot. Uh, it's got a it's got a roll up door, a dock height door, office space, great warehouse space, um, high ceilings. We were able to put racks in there and store a bunch of stuff in there. Great location, easy access to interstate. I can't blame them. But that's about the change. I'm actually sitting in change right now. We're potentially looking to sell this house, but we're also potentially looking to maintain this property and keep it in our portfolio as an investment property to put tenants in to make money off of every single month. Pay down our investment, pay down the principal balance on this to zero. We retain the equity. We continuously make money on the profits of the rents every month. And eventually maybe someday down the road, we do decide to sell it uh, at the new high uh, praise value that we didn't actually have to pay for. We're not sure what we're going to do yet, but we are sure that we are going to change. We're going to change how we behave and operate day to day. And that includes traveling. I'm sitting in change. I'm sitting in how we plan to travel. Now there are two components here. It's about travel, but it's also about planning and protection because we all know that it is very possible and very likely that shit will hit the fan very, very soon. And we wanna have the ability to be mobile. We wanna have the ability to be flexible. Uh, we, we don't wanna be tied down to any one particular location and be forced to do whatever it is that we may be forced to do. No, we want to live, number one, and number two, let's just say things get a little scary, a little crazy, a little hairy. It doesn't cost much to live on the road. It doesn't cost much to live in a van, really. And if we had to, we sell the house. Sell the house, take the cash, put it, put it, put it in a, another investment vehicle. Not anything with crazy high interest rates as we would lose money on that, but some, uh, not another real estate property. We would just put it in another investment vehicle, maybe even crypto, maybe Bitcoin, Ethereum, um, 
Maybe we'll buy some shares of Twitter. That might be profitable for us. I'm not sure. It could be a death wish. I'm not, I don't know. But we could sell the house. We could take the equity. We could cash out. Um, we got a place in Florida, but we're just renting. So not a big deal. When that lease is up, let it go. And we could literally just roam in a van, you know? And there are multiple places that it will allow us to hook up with sure power, fresh water, sewer. This van, it runs off lithium batteries. Besides the diesel engine, it runs off lithium batteries. So it, it, it pretty much is self-sustainable. It's got solar panels on the roof. As long as we got some sunlight, we're going to have power. And for the, you know, for what we do, what our lives are, the direction our lives are going, we don't need really much more than what we'd have here. But we'd be able to move at a moment's notice, whenever needed. If things are getting bad in a particular place, we can go somewhere else. If things look better somewhere else, we can go there and check it out. We're not tied down. So. That leads me to another question of how much does it really take to survive? And I'm gonna show you guys a clip of a young woman who says she can't survive off of $10,000 a month. She can't afford to live off of $10,000 a month. I don't know about you, but if I were a single, I'm assuming single, if I were a single person I honestly don't really, let's just say a single young adult, based on the video, you'll see, I'm gonna say a single young adult, $10,000 a month would be amazing. I didn't make $10,000 a month until I was married with a house and a kid and student loans and other responsibilities. I didn't make it until then. So if I could be a young adult with no obligations, $10,000 a month would be unbelievable. I'm gonna show you this clip and you guys can see what I'm talking about. This comment, $117,000 a year is $10,000 a month. It's not that I live a lavish lifestyle, it's that I live an adult life. I'm 25 years old. I'm 25 years old. There's, you cannot survive on $10,000 a month. I can't, I can't. So this is unreal. Comment below if you think you couldn't survive on $10,000 a month. Comment below if you think you could. For me, my family, um, if we had to, shoot, we could survive off of less than $10,000 a month. But it's still about the change in life. And our priorities, our necessities, our, 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 our dreams, our hopes, our goals have changed. And shoot, if it came down to it, it doesn't cost much to have this every month. And, you know, we would pretty much eliminate our overhead living expenses because we, we could live out of this easily. If it gets, you know, you may say, oh, you can't live out of that. Well, we get to kind of like dodge the seasons. If it's too cold, go south. You know, if it's too hot, go north. We have that flexibility. You know, um, we could, Tra travel to the uh, maybe lower income parts of the country where certain prices aren't over inflated, like food and necessities like groceries and maybe even fuel prices because there's not a huge concentration of vehicles in these areas using up these resources. So the businesses may be less greedy and their profit margins may be a little bit lower in these areas, but we would have that freedom and flexibility to do that. So. I guess in a sense, what I'm saying is I'm transitioning from what was normal to what I want to do, what I think makes the most sense for our protection, our safety, our happiness, which happiness really should be number one, but it's kind of hard to be happy if you're not safe and protected and, uh, and just living life. Because life, to me, is not about only preparing for the worst of a situation. It's enjoying the days every day. And even in a bad situation, still finding ways to enjoy life. So, 
anyway that's that thanks for watching if you like it subscribe if not I still appreciate you guys making it this far. I'll be bringing you more videos, uh, more videos on the house, more videos on the van, more videos on the travel, more videos of the family in general as we uh, plan to have our lives changed and transition into this new normal for us. So anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later.